Hey, Lost Love and Universe, it's Xander, and welcome to ARW Revolution. It is the big September episode of ARW. We are live on Twitch. It is a huge night. Everything is on the line. For the first night ever, all the champions put their titles on the line in Chicago, Illinois. Well, let's kick the show off with the ARW Interdimensional Championship. Kicking the show off tonight, as I just said momentarily ago, with the Interdimensional Championship on the line. The following contest, of course, scheduled for one fall, is for the ARW Interdimensional Championship. We are number one. As here comes the challenger, a man many did not expect to make it this far tonight. He's a real villain, a master of disguise. He's been a pirate. He is, well, number one. Hey, it's Robbie Rotten making his way to the ring. This is Robbie Rotten's first Saturday Night Special appearance since Xander Mania in March. And look at this, Robbie looks thrilled to be here. Tonight, he is getting a one-on-one -on -one championship match with the Interdimensional Champion. He ran Joker out of ARW. The Joker is no longer an ARW superstar thanks to Robbie Rotten. And tonight, Robbie is getting his opportunity as he faces Interdimensional Champion. Oh, where is he? The Interdimensional Champion. It is Captain America, Steve Rogers. Rogers making his way to the ring. He's been the Interdimensional Champion since July, so he's been champion for two months now. And tonight, he has another challenge. He's already beat Bowser, Ganondorf, Shao Kahn, just to name a few. Uh, he beat he had one of the best matches in ARW, period, against Iron Man last month at Bash at the Beach, and tonight he takes on Robbie Rotten, one on one. Of course, a few weeks ago as well, the Joker, he did ask for another match. He asked for one last shot, and he had a match with Captain America. If Joker won that match, he'd be reinstated into ARW. If he lost, he's gone. Captain America beat him in about 10 seconds. By the way, that is what they fight for, the ARW Interdimensional Championship. You can see video games, movies, comic books, anything and everything is good, is legal, superstar-wise in ARW. But introducing first the challenger from Lazy Town, he is the real super villain of ARW. He is Robbie Rotten. And his opponent, from Brooklyn, New York, the Super Soldier, ARW's Interdimensional Champion, Captain America, Steve Rogers. As now Rogers hands over the belt. Referee, we see we have a different referee tonight. We have a special guest referee. In fact, flew him over from the great country of Japan to referee this matchup tonight. Very generous of a Japanese wrestling promotion to loan us a referee tonight to replace the blind referee we normally have. Here we go! Oh, Robbie with a clothesline. That's probably the exact opposite of what everyone thought was going to happen. And now Robbie rolls him through. Robbie Rotten. One. Oh no, Steve reverses it. One. No, Robbie fights out of that one. And Robbie with an elbow. Robbie Rotten. 
Oh my god, Robbie's a house of fire early on here, but Steve Rogers with a counter and a shoulder block. And now Robbie's been picked up. Steve. Wait, no, Robbie. Northern Lights. Robbie Rotten, he's going up top. And Robbie with a splash. Cover. One. Two. Oh, man. Robbie Rotten with a neck breaker now. I cannot believe this. I think a lot of people going into this underestimated Robbie Rotten, especially after that tag team, or really, handicap match. That was really just a one-on-one -on -one match with Steve Rogers, where Rogers beat Rotten, where Robbie got very, very little offense in that matchup. And now Robbie Rotten has taken most of this matchup in the early goings. And now Rogers, he's going up to... And Robbie Rotten rolls back towards the center of the ring. Steve's calling him up, though. Steve Rogers looking to fly. Powerbomb from Robbie! And now Robbie's going back up. And Robbie Rotten, another splash into the cover. One. No, oh, another kick out. But Robbie Rotten staying on top of it as well. Robbie has him up. Fireman's carry. Death Valley driver into the cover. One. Two. Oh, man. Captain America kicks out. But Robbie, he's not done. He's not giving up so easily. Captain America finds the counter. And now Cap with a, with a shoulder block. And now Captain America has Robbie Rotten up. And into a gut wrench. And there's an elbow as well from Cap. And now into the cover. Robbie Rotten can be down one. No! Robbie Rotten kicks out. Kick to the back now. And now Captain America has him up, sitting position. And down goes Robbie. And now Captain America. Turns Robbie Rotten over, grabs the leg, and slams it to the man. Turns Robbie Rotten over, and kicks him into the cover. Captain America. No! Robbie kicks out again. And now Captain America just taunting. Did Captain America underestimate? Whoa! Where'd the lights go? Oh, well, here's a little lesson in trickery. Oh, wait a minute! Captain America grabs him by the ankle. Could that be enough? Robbie rolls out of it. Robbie run. Oh, into a small package for the title. One, two, no. No, oh, went for the clothesline. Got caught with a wheel kick. No, wait a minute. Went for an attitude adjustment. And Robbie. Oh, didn't quite get him. Now an elbow. And Captain America puts him in the corner. But Robbie with another counter. And sends Captain America into the corner. And takes him down from behind. Robbie Rotten could be closing in on the Interdimensional Championship. Combination strike. I cannot believe I'm saying this, but after everything Captain America has gone through as champion, Robbie Rotten could be the one to take it away. As Robbie is dragging himself to the top rope, and... Oh, no! AA! Into the cover. One, two, three. Well, I believe that goes to show you that on any given night, anything can happen in RW. Captain America, still interdimensional champion.
as we are just only getting the show underway. Let's go on to the Women's Tag Team Championship matchup. The Women's Tag Team Championships are online. Up next, for the first time ever, we're going to see a championship defense in the Women's Tag Team Championship category. As out first is the team known as the Keyblade Warriors, Tyree and Aqua. They won the opportunity to challenge for the inter excuse me, for the women's tag team championships a few weeks ago in a triple threat match against A Force and the Gotham City Sirens, where of course the Keyblade Warriors did walk away with the win on that night. And over the last couple weeks we've seen Aqua face off with Wonder Woman in singles action and Kyrie against Laura Croft. Aqua came up short against Wonder Woman, but Kyrie does now own a pinfall victory over Laura Croft. So how about that? As of course I was just talking about the momentarily ago, the ARW Women's Tag Team Champions. There is one half, it is Wonder Woman. The Amazonian princess herself, it is Wonder Woman. And her tag team partner, the Tomb Raider, Laura Croft. to form the team known as Wondercroft. They've been champions for just about a month now. They beat the team of Bayonetta and Bowsette at ARW. Bash at the Beach back in August to become the first ever champion. We haven't seen Bowsette since. Bayonetta has transitioned herself into the singles picture in the Women's Championship, and she's done a very good job at it. Her victory over Spider Gwen recently had a huge, just star making performance against the champion herself, Power Girl, just a few weeks ago. So. We have new contenders on the rise all the time. Same in the women's tag team division. Got teams like A Force, the Keyblade Warriors, Wonder Croft. You know Peach and Daisy are lurking around somewhere. The Ferocious Felines are there. More teams definitely going to come on their way at some point. Just need more suggestions in the chat, please. Anyway, introducing first the challengers. They are Kyrie and Aqua, the Keyblade Warriors. And the champions, the Tomb Raider, Laura Croft, the Amazonian Princess Wonder Woman, they are Wonder Croft. Where he holds the championships up high. And here we go. Interesting that uh, Aqua and Wonder Woman are the first two to start this one off as Wonder Woman is the one holding a pinfall victory over Aqua between the two. As a clean break ensues. And oh, Wonder Woman with a forearm. And now, went for an uppercut, Aqua with a right. And now Aqua sends her into the corner, off the torn buckle. Wonder Woman takes her down. You would think that it would be wiser to have Kyrie start this match with Keyblade Warriors, especially against either of them, because Wonder Woman's never faced Kyrie, whereas she does have a, whereas Kyrie also does have a victory over Laura Croft. But you never know, mind games sometimes. Maybe one of them will get overconfident against Aqua. Is maybe what they're hoping. I don't know. I don't really have a opportunity to know what goes on in the mind of these women. I usually try to be respectful of them in their space backstage. Anyway, besides the point. And as Aqua with a stomp to Wonder Woman. Aqua 
Look at this, cartwheel into a moonsault. Choke hold now, a cross face from Aqua to Wonder Woman, who fights out of it. And Aqua with Wonder Woman up, but Wonder Woman counters it, Northern Lights takes her down. Aqua's in, or Kyrie is in, and Kyrie with a spear. And her right hand, Kyrie forward onto the back of the head. And tag made. And now Lord Croft is in. Oh, another spear from Kyrie. And Croft grabs Kyrie by the arm. Oh, rolls her over. Roll up here, but Kyrie quickly kicks out. And oh, drop kick to the knee from Laura Croft. And with the wheel kick, Kyrie. Hurricane Rana drops her. And now Kyrie. With the elbows to the head of Laura Croft. Laura Croft with a kick to the head now. And oh, with the wheel kick to the head again. Kyrie, no, kick to the ribs from Croft. And now Croft's got her up. Body slams her down. Laura Croft off the ropes with an elbow. And now Croft's got her up. Laura Croft. There's the, oh, with the kick. And Kyrie. Uh-oh. Oh, I don't even know what you'd call that. Lifted her up into a cutter. Almost. Now wrenches back the arm of Laura Croft. And Kyrie. Drop kicks her in the back as well. But Croft is right back to her feet. And Kyrie. Uh-oh. Has her up. Alabama Slim. Not quite sure how she held on to her that way, though. And Croft, well, one woman wanted the tag, but Laura Croft not able to get there. Kyrie turns her over. And now Kyrie pulling back on the arm again. But now, oh, wait a minute. Laura Croft back to her feet. Cracks the arm. And there's the kick to the head. Finally. And another. Into the cover off of that one. One. Kick out from Kyrie. There's a kick to the back. No, wait. Kyrie back to her feet. Turns her around. And sends her in the corner of the keyboard. Warriors with a spear in the corner. And Kyrie, look at that. Pops her up and drops her. Now Kyrie's got her up. Right hand turns her around. Oh, in two. Dream, drop, distance. Into the cover. One, no. Wonder Woman's there to break that one up. And oh, Laura Croft back to her feet. And finds the counter to whatever Kyrie was attempting there. And now Croft. Kicking the knee off the ropes. And the big knee strike to the head off the ropes. One, two, no. Kick out from Kyrie. And now Wonder Woman is down as well. So will the Keyblade Warriors be able to take advantage and claim the Women's Tag Team Championships? Kyrie, kick to the ribs. And Luthes Press now raining down. The right hands is Kyrie. Now Kyrie to the top rope. Kyrie, went for the elbow, nobody home. And now Laura Croft with the spine buster. Wonder Woman tried to be there in time, but Aqua's there. And Aqua goes down. Tag made, Wonder Woman's back in. Now Wonder Woman, it's been a while since we've seen her in the ring. First time here. We're seeing Wonder Woman and Kyrie in the ring. And oh, went for a spear. Kyrie just leaped over her. And now Kyrie sends Wonder Woman in the corner. And there's a counter from Wonder Woman. And now Wonder Woman picks her up and sends Kyrie into the corner. 
Tag made. Croft is back in. Now with the ropes, Croft gets it with the double axe handle. And the drop kick. Little and already wanting back in, as is Aqua. Well, one on one try to stop Kyrie. Speared Aqua though. One kick out. Now Wonder Woman grabs her and choke slam, same way she beat her a few weeks ago, into the cover. One, two, Aqua kicks out. Wonder Woman, I think a spear completely caught Aqua off guard. Now she's got her up and power bombs her. Wonder Woman going up top now. And elbow drop into the cover on Aqua. One, two, no, another kick out. Tag Meg Croft is back in. Laura Croft now picks Aqua back up. Forearm strike, super kick into the knees, off the ropes, and sliding knee strike. One, two, no, another kick out from, from Aqua, excuse me. And now, Croft sends Aqua off the ropes. Ducks it, and went for the drop kick, got cut. And now Aqua has her up, going for the birth by sleep. Laura Croft finds the counter. Now she's got Aqua back up. Spine buster. Right hand takes Kyrie out of it. Got to keep her from breaking up the pinfall. Another spine buster. One, two, no. Oh my God. Aqua kicks out somehow. Tag made. Wonder Woman's back in. Now off the ropes. Drop to hold. Elbow drop. Wonder Woman with the neck breaker, Kyrie. Kyrie out of the ring now. Spear! One, two, no. What an homage to friendly competition rival Captain Marvel with that spear there. There's Captain Marvel competing in the main event of tonight's pay per view. That's right, not pay-per-view, but Saturday Night Special. That's right, women will be main eventing a Saturday Night episode of ARW for the first time ever tonight. And oh my god, Wonder Woman may have just knocked Aqua out with that right hook. Yes, she did! And Wonder Croft retained the ARW Tag Team Championship. Women's Tag Team Championships. I thought it was over there. I thought it was over multiple times in this matchup on both sides. I thought Kyrie hitting Dream Drop Distance may have been it. I thought this choke slam was it. Aqua proved her resilience tonight as well. Hope she could take a beating. But once again, Wondercroft are still the women's tag team champions. Up next, we're going to have more singles action. So, as Wondercroft celebrating, get ready, because we have more action next. Up next is the ARW World Championship. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the ARW World Championship. That is right, we are doing it early tonight. Only three matches in. As there is the challenger, yes, 
challenger been a very long time since that was the word used to describe the Man of Steel with the ARW Championship. Superman. Superman last month at Vanish at the Beach, blatantly was cheated out of the ARW Championship. Blatant cheating. I'll call it what it is. People say I favor Captain Falcon. At one point in time, yes I did. But now, no, I don't. I will call out what he did. It was completely out of kind of line. He low blowed the Man of Steel while the referee was down. And that was blatant disregard for the rules. I'll admit that. Tonight, Superman could be winning back the ARW Championship. We have a different referee tonight. Maybe this one won't be made of glass. Let's hope so. Either way, Superman has made his way to the ring. Like I said, it's still a very... No matter how long it's been, it's still a strange uh, sight seeing Superman without the ARW Championship. There he is, the ARW champion for the first time in singles action. We're going to actually see him in the ring, finally. The first time since winning the championship. Captain Falcon making his way to the ring. It has been a very strange month since, what Cap since Captain Falcon turned to the dark side of ARW. He's no-showed many advertised appearances on ARW weekly shows. When he finally came back, all he said was, we didn't deserve his time. You can't say that, uh, you can't say he's not the champion, because he is, in fact, the champion. But I guess tonight we're finding out, is he a paper champion? Is Captain Falcon credible as ARW champion? He's taking his time, isn't he? he? Wants to make sure the whole world knows he's champion. Either way, it's finally time for the matchup. ARW Heavyweight Championship, introducing the challenger from the city of Metropolis, the planet of Krypton, the Man of Steel. He is Superman. And his opponent, the champion from Mute City, he is the ARW World heavyweight champion Captain Falcon
Superman. Could he be a two-time champion by the end of this matchup? Many hope so. Many believe so. Myself, I'm not sure. I guess it just depends on how underhanded Captain Falcon's ready to be. Here we go. Superman punch! One! Oh, man. And Superman, well, he... He came ready to knock another Superman punch. And then, oh, went for another Captain Falcon. Saw that one coming. And now Falcon. Oh, Superman thrown in the corner. Falcon with a right to the back. Shot's actually phasing Superman, surprisingly. And now Superman. Oh, look at this. A combination strike and another Superman punch. And now he sends Captain Falcon into the corner. Spear into the corner. Grabs him and belly to belly tosses him. Captain Falcon finds the counter and sweeps the leg. Captain Falcon oh, went to the outside. Superman dives to the outside as well. Now Superman, right hand to the back of Captain Falcon. Falcon with the elbows. All went for the kick. Superman grabs him, sends him off the apron. Five count. Superman, he knows he can't win the championship by count out. He wasn't going for the championship by count out there. He was going for a big frog splash to the outside. Off the turn, but of the ring post goes Captain Falcon. And now off the announce table. Has him up in a torture rack. Throws him! Five count. Six. Headbutting him now. Seven. Superman breaks the count. At eight, he breaks the count. Super, oh, went for the Superman punch. Captain Falcon gets caught with that one, though. This is pure dominance on the part of Superman. This is a man wanting the ARW championship back. Not on the outside. Not on the outside. Power bomb. Seven count. Oh, Falcon. Back in the ring. Eight. Eight count. Superman's back to his feet. In at nine. Now, spear. One, two. Kick out from Captain Falcon. Barely, but he kicked out either way. And now Superman. Superman punch. This could already be the end. Super oh, wait, no, did the corkscrew instead. There, oh, wait for the Superman punch again. Falcon drops him. And now Captain Falcon calling up the Man of Steel. Captain Falcon. Oh, rolls him through. Into a kick. Superman goes in the corner. Captain Falcon. No, Superman with the counter. Superman. Rams Captain Falcon into the corner. And does it again. Just because he can as well. And there's the corkscrew again. Now Superman, no. Finds the counter again. 
Superman with the right. Captain Falcon against the ropes. Wait a minute, Superman! Throws him through the ropes. And Superman. Kick in the ribs. And power bomb on the apron. So let's get a replay of that. Hang on a second. We'll cut the replay. Cut the replay. It's Scorpion. Scorpion takes the referee out of the ring. But well, Superman doesn't know what's going on. And hold up. That's Incineroar. And oh, big kick. Last time we saw Incineroar, he was fighting Captain Falcon at ARW. Fight back? It's been so long since we've seen Incineroar, I can't even remember the last time we saw him. And now he's attacking Superman with a cane to the back. Incineroar whipping Superman with that kendo stick. As Scorpion and Sub-Zero kept the referee down. I don't even know where Captain Falcon is. That was Darkest Lariat. Look at this. This is disgusting. Superman... Looked like he was moments away from regaining the ARW Championship. And now, Incineroar. Oh, God. Through the barricade. This is a Thanos level of assault from Incineroar. And now he's... Ripping the announce table apart as Superman just pulled himself from the rubble of what was our what was the upper right barricade of the arena. And Cineroar has the man of steel now. And Cineroar. As I said, Thanos level of assault just put Superman through the announce table. And now, he's going to just feed him to the wolves. Fed right back to the wolves. and Oh, and look who's finally decided to get back in the ring. Oh, man. Falcon Punch. Oh yeah, insult to injury. Yeah. Falcon Punch. And finally. Just because Superman does it doesn't mean you've got to do it too. Falcon Punch. Number three. One, two, three. Let's say by hook or by crook, but that was... That was disgusting. Three Falcon Punches, just like what Superman would do with the Superman Punch, after the assist from Scorpion, Sub-Zero, and Incineroar. And unfortunately, in the most disgusting way possible, your winner, and still ARW Champion, Captain Falcon. Thought you were better than that, Falcon. Thought you fought for the people. Well, and now, now look, Incineroar, Sub-Zero, and Scorpion back in the ring to celebrate. Lay this boy band wrong answers only. Thank God there's still more action ahead. Could you imagine this is how we ended the show? Thank God that up next, we got... We have singles action. Up next is we're going to see the long-awaited battle. Up first saying a long-awaited battle I'm the, boss. the Thursday I'm the after boss. Bash Beach Sephiroth and Bowser teamed up from Big Bad Bosses and 
take on the Beards of War for the ARW Tag Team Championships. Step up to in the castle, and this man, Giovanni, came down. Giovanni said, wait one more. A chain is only as strong as its weakest link. Perhaps I can assist you in your fall from grace. Before clotheslining the hell out of Sephiroth, picking him up, and alongside Bowser and Ganondorf, giving a triple power bomb to the one with danger. Sephiroth effectively kicked out of Big Dot bosses, and tonight he gets his match with Giovanni one on one. Giovanni sends in Bowser and Ganondorf ahead of himself. Those two will be the tag team championship after the. Well, up next is actually going to be Shaggy versus Waluigi, and then the tag team titles. But Giovanni stands in the ring alone against the one winged angel. There he is. The one winged angel is back. Sephiroth has fallen grace when he joined Big Bad Bosses. And now tonight, he is finally here to get his redemption to get his revenge, to take a stand against Big Bad Bosses. And he does it as he goes against the new leader of the group. It used to be Eggman. I'd say it was Eggman at one point in charge of the group. He was kind of the brain behind the operation. But now Giovanni, it seems, has taken over that role. And Sephiroth is making his way to the ring. Yes, he became a tag team champion, but soon, he was always the guy that got beat when it came to the group. And as soon as they lost to the Beards of War, and then they lost again, everyone blamed it on Sephiroth. They said he was the weak link of Big Dad Bosses. He was the one who never won. Even though Sephiroth is the only member of Big Bad Bosses to fight for the ALW Championship and almost win it, he has Bowser in the Thanos, but. It seemed as if Thanos had that match won before it even started that night. Still, the time in the ARW point. Sephiroth, he almost beat Superman. He's been in the championship. Either way, Sephiroth versus Giovanni is going down tonight. Will the one with nature finally get his revenge? We've already seen him. He cost Bowser a match to Shaggy a few weeks ago. He didn't do that much, but he's yet to give Giovanni what he has coming to him. Giovanni was also pinned on ARW this past Thursday. And you know Sephiroth wants that sweet feeling of Giovanni being down and the referee counting three all to himself. Giovanni and Sephiroth one on one. Here we go. Oh, wait, Giovanni catches that out of the ring drag. And Giovanni out of the ring. Sephiroth out of the ring. Giovanni back in the ring now. Sephiroth back in the ring. Giovanni with a closed line. And darn oh, in the back. Giovanni playing mind games with the one-winged angel tonight. Oh, no, he's not. No! Looked like he was going to hit Sephiroth with the one-winged angel and then forearmed him in the back of the head. And now Sephiroth finds the counter. Sephiroth will right. 
knocks Giovanni into the corner. Sephiroth turns him around. And now, Sephiroth. Neither or a big boot to the head, knocks Giovanni down in the corner. And stomps him. And now Giovanni, he's back up, takes him down. Giovanni kicks him in the head. And again. Oh, big kick to the face. Sephiroth now. Sephiroth back to his feet. And a clothesline takes down Giovanni. Oh, but Bowser. Bowser distracts Sephiroth. And Giovanni takes advantage. Grabbing the pressure points in the shoulder. Giovanni is definitely not a very technical wrestler. He's going to work you down on your pressure points. He's going to... He's going to be much more... of a mind-based wrestler. I don't know what you call it. Mind games. Very much Giovanni's standpoint there. He's going to do whatever he can to disable you before you can attack him. But now Sephiroth has him. Northern White. But he's not done. He picks him up again. And lifts him into a brain buster. Bowser again, though. Arguing with the referee is Sephiroth in the recover. Let's go to the cover on Giovanni, knowing is Giovanni being called up for the one-winged angel. Sephiroth's got him up. And one-winged angel, that's it. Oh, come on. Clear. Blatant three count, but Bowser again distracts the referee. Cover again. And now Sephiroth. Into the cover again. Too little too late there for Sephiroth, though. Giovanni has the shoulder up. Kick to the head. And grabs Sephiroth. And Dark Matter. I believe that move is called. Oh, and knee to the back of the referee. And now Giovanni. River, inverse DDT. Seth, or Giovanni keeps the referee down. Wait a minute. Referee is down. Referee doesn't know what's going on. No, he's back up. He sees it happening. How is that not a DQ? How is that not a disqualification? Well, Bowser and Ganondorf both ejected. Oh, Sephiroth takes advantage. Back body drop. Well, Bowser and Ganondorf both kicked from ringside. Sephiroth trying to fight back from that triple power bomb. Power slam from Giovanni. But the damage has definitely been done. Giovanni. Choke slam. Giovanni now holds that chair. Throws it on top of Sephiroth. Who rolls over and gets off the chair, fortunately, for the one-winged angel. Giovanni with a splash. One. Two. No! Now he's got the chair again, though. Oh, the referee trying to take the chair from Giovanni. Oh, he clobbers the referee in the back of the head again. Oh, Zephyroth pops him up and drops him. Uh-oh. 
Giovanni. On the chair. One, two, three. Every cheat in the book. Referee only ejected them after that. On a chair. And again, look at this. Severod's head hit the corner of that chair hard. Giovanni, with the victory, handed to him. Hang on a minute. Hang on, I'm getting word in my head. Oh my god. I've gotten word in my headset that Bowser and Ganondorf were just both jumped as soon as they got back in the, behind the curtain. They were both jumped and put their tables by Wario and Waluigi. And Shaggy's been nowhere to be seen. What's this mean for the matchup next? Well, as I said, Big Bad Bosses and Shaggy are... Well, Big Bad Bosses, at least. The number one contenders of the Tag Team Championships found knocked out in the back. They were jumped by this team. Well, the team that's coming out right now, Wario and Waluigi. They were jumped by them as soon as they got ejected from ringside. Shaggy's been nowhere to be seen all night. Wario and Waluigi are demanding a fight. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, are you serious? Ser no, seriously? Oh, all right, I'll let them know. Well, I just got word in my headset from higher ups. Royal Waluigi. Well, we know if they come out here and they don't have a match, they're going to hijack the show. So, ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall, and it is for the ARW Tag Team Championships. Thor and Kratos have told the officials backstage if Big Bad Bosses can't compete, they'll fight Wario and Waluigi. Big Bad Bosses, well, they're not going to be able to compete. They just both went through tables. They were they just both the hell beaten out of them. We didn't have cameras back there in time. Or else we were showing you. at all. 
ARW Tag Team Championships on the line. Of course, as I said, the champion, the challengers, in the following contest, well, they're the challengers. They are the team of Wario and Wild Ouija, the Wicked Bros. And, of course, introducing the champions. Reigning and defending champions. The God of Thunder Thor, the God of War Kratos. They are the, the ARW Tag Team Champions, the Beards of War. I'm sorry, I sound so scrambled for words. This is just mind-blowing. What has just happened in the last five minutes? Official. The referee holds the championships up. This is for the championships. Wario and Kratos starting it off. Here we go. Oh man, Wario! Oh, Kratos clobbers him. And Kratos with a knee strike. And now Kratos into a head scissor with the elbows to Wario. And now Wario. Oh, he breaks the eyes and clotheslines him. And now Wario picks up Kratos, who hits an uppercut. And Kratos stomps Wario in the chest. Right hand knocks him in the corner. Tag made the God of Thunder Thor is in. And look at this. Kratos flings Thor onto Wario. Stomp. And Thor slams Wario head first into the man. Oh, Wario with a thump to the eye. Where Thor had to have a surgically replaced eye back in 2018. Wario with a knee. And now another. And sweeps the leg. And a leg drop. Wario taking full advantage of that thumb of the eye of Thor. And a right hand. And Wario sends him in the corner. Oh, Thor! He keeps Waluigi out of the matchup. Saving himself and Kratos for a while longer. Best plan Thor and Kratos can have is to keep Waluigi out of the match. Wario will eventually tie around. But Waluigi, as long as he's got that gauntlet on, it's game over. And now Kratos, no, Wario, arm drag takes him down. And Wario with a right. Now he's got Kratos back up. Wario with a kick to the knee. And Kratos, oh, he's got Wario. Slings him into the into the turnbuckle. Sling blade. And Wario tried to crawl the wall, Luigi, but he got caught. Kratos super kick to the side of the head. Now he's got Wario back up. Sends him into the corner. Tag made. Thor is in, and they've got Wario for the magic killer cover. Visible three count here. What? No. Waluigi's there. They had a visible three count on Wario. Cover again. One. No. Wario now able to kick out after having some time to recover. Thor with a kick to the back. It was him by the shoulder. Oh, Wario. Oh, rolls him into a small package. One, two, no! Cheap, cheap shot to Kratos. And Wario turns Thor around. DDT. Turns him over. And Wario. Oh, Thor with a head, Thor with an elbow to the head of Wario. 
And now Thor has got him by the throat. And Thor. Choke slam to Warrior. Kick turns him over. And now Thor. Head first into the mat. I think Warrior has been busted open. Now Thor again picks him up. But Wario finds the counter. Throws Thor into the corner with a clothesline. Now Wario picks up Thor. Wario. Oh, look at this. This is how they beat Spider-Man and Little Mac. Sit up last ride. Into the cover. One. No. Kick out. Or, or broken up by Kratos. Now Waluigi just stares down the God of War Kratos. Wario picks up Thor. Wario with a clothesline. And another. Off the ropes. Wario, look at that. Got himself up for a drop kick. And Thor tags in Kratos. Wario. Oh, takes out Kratos, but also takes out himself. Wario. Oh, no. Oh, God. Kratos, I am so sorry. Oh no, Thor's down. Tag made. Oh man! That was Waluigi's Claymore kick, plus a reverse neck breaker. One, two, no! Oh, Thor with a right hand of Waluigi. You might regret that, Thor. Because now Waluigi's in the ring. And Waluigi's unstoppable. Look at the blood on Thor's face! Oh! No! He gets dropped again. Oh, went for the discus close on Kratos. Fortunately for himself and Thor, finds the counter. Waluigi with a shot to the ribs, and another clothesline. Waluigi. Crossbody to the outside. Discus clothesline. Forceful cover here. One, two, no. Kratos just kicked out. Waluigi chucks Thor back into the ring. Thor had to roll out of the ring there. Oh, and Waluigi just drops him again. Oh, Kratos gets the super kick. One. No, a kick out. Kratos. Oh no. Waluigi. Sends him off the turnbuckle. Into the corner. And now Thor, too. Waluigi. Oh, man. Throws Thor into Kratos. And that wipes Thor out of the matchup. Waluigi. Kratos out of the way of the Claymore. Not a clothesline again. Not Waluigi. No, Thor finds the counter. Thor drops Waluigi. Of 
Kratos now pursues Waluigi the outside of the ring. And Waluigi throws Kratos back inside the ring. Down goes Thor again. Wario tags back in. Off the ropes. Drop to hold. Elbow drop. Wario into a cover. One. Two. Well, Waluigi's got to the referee. Counts to five. Oh, went for the discus clothesline. Kratos again found the counter. And everybody just went down. Wario, he's had time to recover, though. And now Kratos with a shoulder block. And Wario drops him. Wario, he's going up high. Wario. Oh, Kratos catches him. But Waluigi's there. Big boot. Both Kratos and Wario are down. And Wario drapes the arm. One, two. Three. Oh. My. God. It looked in the early parts like Kratos and Thor had won. Wario, he managed to turn around a decent bit on his own, but Kratos and Thor definitely dominated Wario when it was two on one. Then when Waluigi got in, he started running wild. But Kratos and Thor again, they found the counters. And finally, Waluigi not even legal in the ring at the time. Boots the head off of Kratos. And look at this. Oh my god. Wario and Waluigi are your new ALW Tag Team Champions. Up next, Well, after just a chaotic show, man, it is time. The following contest is an Iron Woman match for the ARW Women's Championship. Whoever scores the most falls, pinfall, submission, countout, or disqualification in the time limit will be declared the winner and will walk out ARW Women's Champion. As there is the former ARW Women's Champion, Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel, she was the ARW Women's Champion for combined eight months, seven months, for combined seven months. Her first reign, two months, her last reign, five months. And tonight, she has her rematch in an Iron Woman match. to the ring. And our opponent is the ARW Women's Champion, 
Power Girl, who has already defended the championship once, to her credit. She defended it against Cassandra on Thursday night. Cassandra, of course, had never had a rematch with Captain Marvel. To no fault of Captain Marvel, it's just never been booked. Women's Championship. Introducing first the challenger, Captain Marvel. And her opponent, she is the A. RW Women's Champion Power Girl Referee takes the title. We've only seen one championship change hands tonight. Will Captain Marvel make it two and walk out champion? The World Power Girl keep her title around her waist. Here we go with Power Girl. And here we go. 30 minutes on the clock. And Captain Marvel sends Power Girl over the top. Oh, right hand from Captain Marvel. Now, wait a minute. We're going to have 10 seconds of this matchup. Captain Marvel. Superplexes are back into the ring. Into the cover. Can we see the first fall? One. Two. No. As that clock in the top right, as I was going to say before Captain Marvel did all that. When that clock hits zero, it doesn't matter how the fall was secured. Pinfall, submission, count out, disqualification. Whoever has more falls in that time will be champion. What? This is not an ODQ match. I don't know what Captain Marvel was thinking there. But now she's got Power Girl up. And Gorilla Press Position drops her. Now Captain Marvel back outside the ring. Back in, though. Oh, Power Girl's got her. German suplex. And kicks her in the head. Kicks the back down. Power Girl grabs Captain Marvel. Drags her away from the ropes. Power Girl out of the way. Captain Marvel. Uh-oh. Women's right. Very early on, could we see the first fall in favor of Power Girl? One, two, no! Captain Marvel shoulder up at two. And now Power Girl on the outside. I'm very confused by this strategy here. In the ring, though. Well, there's a bit of stare down going on. Oh, Captain Marvel with a right. Let's go down thin use. And Captain Marvel, oh, went for a right of her own. Power roll counter. Oh, another counter. Captain Marvel, throw up spear. One, two. No, Power Girl kicks out. We've already seen both women hit their biggest shots on one another. Captain Marvel now. No, Power Girl at the counter. Power Girl finds another counter. Captain Marvel. Oh, wait a minute. Rolls are through here. Referee in the position now. One. Captain Marvel. No, Power Girl kicks out. And Captain Marvel. Float over DDT to Power Girl. Power Girl crawling towards the corner. And Captain Marvel. Oh, with an uppercut. And Captain Marvel to the top. Now with a red arrow. 
One, two, no. And now Captain Marvel again as the match. We're only about four minutes in. Tiger Bomb. One, two, no, again. Oh, and Power Girl knocks her into the ropes. Power Girl sends her off the ropes and an arm drag. Power Girl kicks down Captain Marvel now, picks her back up. And oh, there's the rear view. Power Girl into the cover on Captain Marvel. One, two, no, there's a kick out. And now Power Girl is calling her up again. Grabs Wonder Woman. Power Girl grabs Captain Marvel with the women's right. I'm sorry, can you tell it is been a long night. It's been a very crazy night. We've seen the weird alliance of Captain Falcon, Incineroar, Sub-Zero, and Scorpion. We're in Waluigi the Tag Team Champions. Then we're in the schedule for the match. Power Girl, women's right. Cover. One, two, three. First fall to Power Girl. Where I'm at Captain Marvel. Tosses her. 0 for 1 in Power Girl's favor now. Will Captain Marvel be able to turn it around? Spear! Well, I think she can. 1, 2. It's all tied up, and that's the first time Power Girl's ever been pinned. That is legitimately the first time Power Girl's been pinned in AOW. How about that? And now, women's right into the cover. One, two, three again. Two, one, Power Girl's favor. German suplex. We've had three falls in just six minutes. Four. And another. Pele kick. Takes the back from Power Girl. Power Girl into the cover. Could she get another fall? One. No, Captain Marvel kicks out this time. Knee to the back again. Picks her back up now, Power Girl. Rear view to Captain Marvel. And now Captain Marvel could be in trouble here, Power Girl. Into the cover. One, two, three, another fall. Three, no, three, one. Oh, Captain Marvel, though. No, oh, Power Girl. DDT, a counter. It is a three, one lead by Power Girl right now. Turns are over now. Power Girl. Pulling back on the neck of Captain Marvel. This could be bad for Captain Marvel. Who fights out of it? And now Captain Marvel. The combination strike and Canadian Destroyer. And now she goes up top. Oh, takes herself and Power Girl out, but now she's back up to her feet. Captain Marvel puts Power Girl in the corner. I can't believe Power Girl has a 3-1 lead this early on in the match. We're not even 10 minutes in, and Power Girl is 3-1. That's really bad for Captain Marvel. She's got a lot of ground to cover in just 22 minutes, 13 seconds. As could she do it, though? Could she tie it? Could she tie the score back up right now? Well, I mean, she needs to get two more pinfalls, but her submissions get what I mean, though. As Power Girl, oh, catches her. Power Bomb! And covers. One, two. No! Captain Marvel just kicked out. Captain Marvel back in the ring. Power Girl follows. Oh, man. Women's right. Could it be 4 1? One, two, no! And now Power Girl's got her back up. 
Captain Marvel finds the counter of that. Kicks her. And turns it around. Rolls her into a cover. One. Two. No. And look at these kicks here. Captain Marvel laying in those kicks. Pulls herself to the top rope. Well, you know she only does this out of desperation. Red arrow. One. Two. No. Back into the cover. One. Two. No. My God. Shooting star press. One. Two. No. Again. How? No. Down goes Captain Marvel. Power Girl's got her. And throws her into the ropes. Captain Marvel. Head scissor takedown. Power Girl to the outside now. Pulling herself to her feet. Captain Marvel dives through the ropes. Oh, man. And now Captain Marvel. No, Power Girl finds the counter. Power Girl turns her around. Drop kicks her. Rear view. And now Power Girl's going up high. Power Girl looking to fly. She's calling Captain Marvel up. No, now it's Captain Marvel's turn. Running power bomb. One, two, no again. What's it gonna take? She's only kept her down once. Moon stomp. And oh, went to the elbow. Gets caught. Kick to the back. Now yeah, Power Girl's calling her up again. Grabbed her. Looked like she was going to go for the women's right. Power Girl gets caught with the DDT from Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. Springboard Moonsault. Doesn't quite get all of it, though. And now Captain Marvel... Sends her up the ropes. Pops her up. Uppercut! One. Two. Oh, there it is. Two, three. DDT connects. Captain Marvel. Oh! Takes herself and Power Girl out with that one. And she pulls herself back up. Two count. Referee beginning the count out. Captain Marvel, I think at this point she's going to have to just take what she can get. Well, I was going to say take what you can get, but look at this. Captain Marvel into a cover again. One. Two, no. No. And Power Girl takes her down. It is still 3-2 in the favor of Power Girl in this matchup. Captain Marvel still trailing behind by one fall. She's got a lot of ground to cover. If she we're almost halfway through this matchup as well. And there's still so much ground to cover for Captain Marvel. Who now kicks Power Girl in the ribs. Turns her around. And running. Sit out power bomb. Rope break. Oh man. You gotta feel for Captain Marvel on that one. Had there not been a rope break, you look at how Power Girl is now prone on the mat. That could have been it. That could have been exactly what Captain Marvel needed to tie the score back up. She hits it again, though. But again, how did you see a rope break, is my question. 
It looks like she's just ready to keep hitting this move until the referee doesn't call a rope break on her. And another. And I, oh my god. I don't even think she was in the ropes that time, to be honest with you. Captain Marvel. She can, poor girl can't catch a break with this. No! She finally gave out. Gets backhanded by Power Girl. Who now goes for the arm. And a knee into the arm. Power Girl attacking the arm now of Captain Marvel. As we are just 20 seconds away from the halfway point of this matchup. Power Girl, oh, rear view. And it looks like that lead's about to be further. One. Two. No! Now she's digging deep. Now she's fighting out. Oh, no. And here it comes. Women's right. One. No! Oh, my God. One? Now Captain Marvel's fighting. Now she's fighting. Oh, didn't quite get her with that one. Ugh, that looked rough. Into a submission hold off of that goes Power Girl. Oh, Captain Marvel, she's got to tap out on that one. 4-2. Now Captain Marvel again finds herself at a 2 visit Down by 2. Power Girl, oh, right back into it. Singes it back in. This time, Captain Marvel fights out of it, though. Gets popped up, though, by, by Power Girl, who drops her. And Power Girl drills over the mat. Oh, went for the spear, got caught. Oh, went for it again, got caught. Captain Marvel can't catch a break yet. Now there's another kick out. No way, Captain Marvel manages to shove Power Girl off. And dumps her over the top rope. Oh man. This is getting intense. Oh no! Win for the spear! Shooting star press. That'll have to do for her. One. Two. Oh, again. Another kick out. As I said, she's down by two. What can she do? Power roll with a counter. Captain Marvel with a counter. Backslide. One. Two. Three. There's three for four. Oh, man. Oh, Captain Marvel's got her up again. Sit up, power bomb. There's no way he calls a work break. One. Two. Oh. Shooting star press. These two are just getting out of everything. They have thrown great trains at one another at this point, and it's still not been enough. Dragon, win, Rana, connects. One, two, no, again. Oh my god. This, as I said, pure insanity. There's a drop kick from Power Girl. Now Captain Marvel has to roll into the bottom rope. Captain Marvel with a counter. Captain Marvel, springboard, forearm. Oh, she gets swatted out of the air. 11 minutes remain. Captain Marvel shoves her away. 
Catch him, Marvel now. That's a long way to jump. She made it. Red arrow. One, two. No, what? How? Is my main question here. Into an angle lock. Captain Marvel flips out of it, kicks Power Girl away. Uh oh. Women's right into the cover. One, two. Oh, she kicked out. You can't underestimate Captain Marvel in this matchup. You can't underestimate either of these competitors. This matchup spear! Both of them are bringing everything and more. Dragon Whip Rona connects. One, two, three, it's time. Tie game. Oh, there's the big uppercut. Captain Marvel setting her up again for another. No! Went for the spear, got caught. It's a tie game now. 4-4. Four, four. As nine minutes remain. And Captain Marvel puts Power Girl in the corner. Power Girl went for a backhand. Captain Marvel's got her up. Captain Marvel. Military press. Drops her. Kicks her when she turns her over there. Kicking her again. And now look at this. Captain Marvel slams her to the mat. Captain Marvel on the top rope. Captain Marvel. Whip of the moon stop. Nobody home. Just a body slam there at that point from Power Girl. Uppercut. Into the corner. Power Girl. Oh, Captain Marvel with a kick. Uh-oh. Canadian Destroyer. Cover. One. No! Power Girl kicks out. Now Power Girl, or drag to Captain Marvel. Power Girl, oh, third to breaker. One, two, oh, Captain Marvel kicks out. And now she grabs her again. Women's right. One, two. No! Captain Marvel got her shoulder up and Power Girl just grabbed her by the head and screamed at her for it. And now Power Girl kicking her against the ropes. And drops her. Seven minutes remain. Captain Marvel the kick into. Tiger Bomb, cover, one, no, Power Girl kicks out. Power Girl, has her up, has her down with a suplex. Power Girl now looking to fly. Oh, uppercut! Cover! One, two, three, it's five, four. Captain Marvel is in the lead for the first time in this matchup, as now Power Girl fighting back because of it. Kick to the back, kick to the ribs. Oh, an uppercut. Into a cover. One. No, a kick out. And 
Power girl with a kick. Rear view. Cover. One. Two. No, Captain Marvel just kicked out. Power girl, she's only got five minutes, 22 seconds remaining. Woman's right. One. Two. Three. Tie game again. Canadian Destroyer. Into the ropes goes Power Girl. Captain Marvel turns her over. We're in the final stretch of this matchup. It's been a long, grueling 25 minutes already. At this point, someone's got to score the last fall or we're going into overtime. Captain Marvel has her up. Spins her down to the mat. Turns her over now. Captain Marvel picking her up into a rolling forearm. Knockout blow potentially on that one. Power Girl counters again. Power Girl, DDT. Captain Marvel onto the apron. We saw Captain Marvel do this to Power Girl earlier. Turnabout's fair play. As the referee begins the count. 5-5 five, five in this matchup. On average, that's one pinfall every three minutes. Look what's coming up, the three minute mark, coming up in a few seconds. Arm drag from Power Girl. Kick to the back of Captain Marvel, and again. Now Power Girl sends her off the ropes, into rear view. Now Power Girl calling up Captain Marvel for the final shot. No, Captain Marvel finds the counter. Power Girl finds the counter, turns her over, into another ankle lock. Captain Marvel trying to crawl over the ropes. Uppercut. And now Captain Marvel to the top rope. Shooting star press. She's not done. Moon stomp. And oh my god, she's oh she went for it again. Nobody home that time. Captain Marvel. Inverted Frankensteiner. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if you told me these two are trying to end each other's careers. One. Two kick out. Two minutes remain. Springboard shooting star press from Captain Marvel. She's trying to hit everything and anything she can. She knows desperately she needs this last fall. If she doesn't get one over on Power Girl, that's it. She's done. No more opportunities for a good while. Running sit out Power Bomb. One, two, no. Oh. Now she's calling her up. Captain Marvel. Oh no. Power bomb. And now Power Girl's setting her up. Rear view. Power Girl. Is it all over? Countered the spear. Power Girl. Drills her into the mat. Drops Captain Marvel with a drop kick. Captain Marvel counters. 
Captain Marvel and Apricot. We're in the final moments. 20 seconds remain. Went for the spear. Nobody home. Rear view. 10, 9. Women's right. Oh my god. 3, 2, 1. <laughs> At the last possible second, there it was, at the last possible second, 30 minutes, 30 minutes, and finally, your winner, and still, ARW Women's Champion. Power Girl, thank you for tuning in to tonight's Saturday Night Special. Tune back in Thursday for the next ARW. Probably turn in Monday for the next stream. Depends on where I am in my life at this point in the year. And I'll see you all next time. Xander out. <laughs>